Known for its historic sites and amazing beaches, Tunisia has a lot to offer visitors. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share how to plan a trip to Tunisia. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at why visit. With beaches and sooks, monuments and amazing food, Tunisia has a lot to offer. This small Arab country in North Africa is known for its many historical attractions, but it is also a great place to enjoy the sun and relax by the beach. More and more companies are offering cheap holidays here as the country grows in tourism. So now let's look at the best time to visit. Tunisia has a Mediterranean climate, meaning you can enjoy hot, dry summers and milder winters, but it is fairly warm all year. The best time to visit is in May, June or September when the weather is warm, but not too hot. You can visit in the summer and deals can be found for these months too, but expect the average temperature to be around 33 degrees Celsius. Try to avoid October through to April if you plan on visiting the north, as this can be a rainy time of the year. So now let's look at getting there. There are several ways visitors can travel to Tunisia. Of course, most people choose to travel by plane to the main airport with direct flights available from plenty of destinations in Europe and North and West Africa. Those traveling from Asia, the Americas and Australia will have to change over in Europe or North Africa. You can also take a ferry here with a few different options available from Italy and France. Just make sure to book ferries in advance if traveling in July or August, as these can be more expensive and get booked up quickly. So now let's look at accommodation in Tunisia. When it comes to accommodation, there are plenty of options. So firstly, we have resorts. Alongside the seaside, you will find plenty of beautiful hotels and resorts. Of course, these will range in facilities, but they tend to include pools, activities for children, games, sports, on-site restaurants, and even horse riding classes. Some offer all-inclusive experiences too, meaning you can really relax, unwind, and not worry about how much you are spending. You could also choose to stay in a business or luxury hotel. The main cities are also home to many business hotels. These are good options if you want to experience the city centre and are often near plenty of restaurants. But if you are looking for something a little different, there are options for you too. In Tunisia, you can find plenty of guest houses and rural farmhouses. There is plenty of countryside to be found here, meaning you can experience something different on your trip. Whether it is a local guest house on the edge of a forest or a farm that has been converted to a guest house, there are plenty of unique accommodation options in Tunisia. So now let's look at the best things to do. There are plenty of things to see and do whilst you are here, from famous landmarks to incredible golden beaches, and here are just a few of the best places to visit. Firstly, we have El Gem Amphitheatre. The walls of this ancient Roman ruin tower over the nearby modern city. This is a well-preserved Roman relic and one of the most popular sites to see here. Then we have Carthage. This ancient town is a unique thing to see in Tunisia, home to the ruins of the ancient city and rivaling ruins that you see in Rome. Then we have the Grand Erg Oriental. The Sahara covers much of the country's interior, with the most beautiful part of the desert being the Grand Erg Oriental. The dunes are surreal, forming huge waves of endless sands, perfect for those looking for a dune buggy adventure or camel trek. Then we have Sidi Bou Said. For an alternative to Santorini, head to this photogenic clifftop village. You can explore the whitewashed alleyways and see the colourful blue doors of this cute village and soak up the laid back atmosphere as the sun sets. Then we have Bulla Regia. Tunisia has plenty of Roman ruins and the Bulla Regia is another excellent site to visit. The inhabitants coped with the summer climate by building their homes underground, leaving a well-preserved underground city ready to explore. Then we have the National Bardot Museum. This museum won't fail to impress you, exhibiting some of the most beautiful mosaics in the world. This is one of the best museums in North Africa and is a must-visit whilst you are here. 
You can also visit the beautiful seaside city of Seuss. You can explore the historic town, see the elegant Great Mosque and relax and unwind on the beach. And you should also visit Tunis. Make sure to spend at least one day in the capital, appreciate the incredible architecture, visit the impressive cathedral, shop in the bustling souks and enjoy the diverse culture this capital has to offer. Watch this video to find out the 25 things you must do before you travel. Then to see some of the most beautiful destinations you can travel to in the world, watch this video. We hope you have a fantastic time and stay creative.